Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. How's everybody doing this weekend? I'm doing pretty good. It's kind of been a lazy weekend. I haven't been feeling so hot. So I've been taking it easy, kind of working on the website. Um, just looking at charts here today, and Bitcoin and Ethereum are starting to perk up a little bit. So over the weekend, and over, I should say into late Friday and into the weekend, um, we saw Ethereum and Bitcoin just start to flatten out. We talked about this market was probably going to go flat for a little while, and it has. All weekend so far, it's been flat. We're starting to perk up a little bit here. We're starting to get a little bit of a what's called a W pattern. Kind of stands for kind of stands for winter, and that is typically an upward type of pattern. Um, it's not like an official chart pattern. It's just something that people have noticed over the years, and I've noticed it to be true as well. When you get a W pattern, we are due some kind of an uptrend, typically. Typically. Now that that being said, everything can fail, and so we'll just kind of see what happens. But market looks like it wants to trade, and if you want to trade, this is a good time to maybe do it. Again, keep your stop losses tight. Uh, keep an eye on your positions because we can fail at any time. One thing I do want you guys to notice here is ever since this bounce we've had off of the $3,000 level, we have had a pretty drastic declining volume. I mean, outside of this large selling spike here, we basically have, you know, very, very subpar volume, I will say, comparatively to to down in this area. So um, long term, I'm still not super bullish. That's just my personal opinion. But it does look like we are due a bounce here of some kind. But any kind of heavy selling could take us down. Anything similar to this, anything like this could take us down pretty quickly. So I do want you to be on the defensive, but I don't want you to be scared to take positions. Okay. So where can we bounce into? Well, we could definitely bounce up to this 4,000 area that we've been talking about. This has been an area of support twice, almost to the penny for 4,000. So that is going to be a level of resistance. And just to coincide with that level, we have this, this trend line over here. So this doesn't seem like it could be out of the ordinary to pop up to this 4,000 level at about this time frame. And we'll see if we succeed and go up, and we'll see if we fail. So that's kind of like the neckline of this pattern at the 4,000 level. So we'll just kind of see how it, how it reacts up here. We're not super bearish. Again, volume has subsided, indicating that, that selling activity has you know, dried up. But again, so has buying. So again, we'll just have to see where we go. Ethereum, much of the same in Ethereum. Much of the same. We do have this neckline here that uh, we have based on this head and shoulders pattern. So th this was broken to the downside, as we can see here. And we chopped around, came down to the 202 level, and bounced dramatically. And just like we see in Bitcoin, we see dramatically lower volume just after that bounce. So we're not seeing a ton of upside volume action, even though this was an exceptional bar. This was an exceptional bar. We do have, we do have this trend line that I'm arbitrarily moving on you. We're coming up to that, so let's see where we go the next stop from here would be this trend line up here near the 300 level, or I guess the 290 level. And then past that, we have these um, what have proven to be actual resistance areas up here towards 340 to 340, 344. So those, those are a couple couple of target areas. We could, If we fail any one of these, um, <clears throat> we could get back into bear mode. But we have been going sideways, so now it looks like there's a possibility that we curl upward. Just like with Bitcoin, good for trading. Good for making some money. Good for taking some positions. Past that, and some of some of the lower cap coins. Let's take a look at Litecoin. Kind of much of the same. It may test this trend line, although it doesn't look as bullish. Um, so Litecoin is one of the, as you know, I think it's market cap four. Ripple ha hasn't had as much of a of a pop as the rest of as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we'll just kind of see how that plays out. Iota looks like it finally crossed that 50 threshold, although the volume has been um, very negligible up here. You can kind of see here on the two-hour chart that the volume is not very good. It still did cross the 50 level, and we're testing this trend line, and we could get back into this, this channel level. Well, actually, we are in this channel level at this moment in time. We'll have to see where we go up there. There have been some smaller coins, though, that have been wanting to run and have been running. Um, some of them I've been involved with have been tweeting about. If you don't know about my Twitter, at Real Crypto Trade, go ahead and check that out. We've been talking about BAT on... Um, basic attention token we've been talking about them they have some really good volume leading up into this this upper resistance area and they've been slowly coming out of it 
That's been a little slower than I'd like, but you know what? Hey, upward movement is good movement. So they've been moving up. They've been kind of an outlier. There have been some other ones that have already made large moves. This one has yet to make their move. Uh, CoreCoin had a very large move over the weekend, and we see them up here testing 7 and then coming back here and basing down at 5. So this could, you know, keep an eye on these coins. They come up. You want to look for basing. Maybe you buy at some low levels and, and do it for a trade. But just remember to keep your stops tight. And then we have, let's look for that other coin. Rise is moving today a little bit. Just right in here, Rise came up, and then they've been basing again. But they are holding this high level. They, they did break above this 40 cent level. I think I mentioned this once or twice. Um, actually, they just broke below that 40 cent level. So, you know, wait and see what happens with that. I know a lot of you guys like to see the smaller cap coins. You're looking into them, so I'm going to fly through these real quick. OK Cash kind of double topped up here. So that, that move is kind of over for now. We'll just have to wait and see where that goes. Um, where was the coin that was up 100% yesterday? Oh, Internet of People. Internet of People. So I was looking at this earlier, kind of playing with this with this trend line it had. It was, I think I was doing it on the 15-minute chart. Yeah, I was drawing this on the 15-minute chart, kind of back around here. And it has since failed, and it's kind of moving lower. So we can kind of infer some new targets or at least a new pattern. Uh, so yeah, keep it on Internet of People if it passes this trend line. If we don't, you know, get all the way back down here towards this, towards the 16, 17 level, 18 level, then yeah, it could be good for another trade. And the percentage gains here are massive if you think about it from uh, 23 all the way up here to 30, getting close towards the top. That's a really good gain. That's a very good gain right there. So overall, the market, um, market starting to trade again, starting to trade again after the big breakdown in the you know, Bitcoin 3000 area, Ethereum 200 area, the market's starting to bounce back up. Getting some trains, some trades in the smaller coins. Those larger coins, however, still overall looking bearishly in my opinion. But in the intermediate term, they could be good for some trades. So again, Bitcoin, let's see what happens over this. I guess you can call this a cup with handle if you want to. Uh, so let's see what happens with this cup with handle. Look for a breakout on volume happening. And with Ethereum, kind of have more of a cup with a handle. So it uh, looks like it's actually already broken out of its er, of its potential early early buy point. That would actually be right here. That this would be the early buy point. Volume isn't too bad. Volume's not too bad. And then your next breakout level would be pretty much over this 270 level, over 270 or so. Uh, if you do want to get in, you could get in here at 266, 267, just kind of coming over this high right here. Anyway, I just want to give you guys a few ideas if you're looking to trade. Otherwise, just kind of sit tight and wait for an extraordinarily good entry point. And uh, I'm going to do a video on how to do that now that I'm feeling better. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, we will see. But all right, there you guys go. A little bit of a market update. There's our daily recap. Bitcoin and Ethereum look like they're open for business right now. But again, still keep on the defensive. Any, any big batch of selling, wink, wink, China, um, could take us down. To what levels, who knows? We'll have to see how high we get at that point. But Bitcoin still has this large resistance line here and the actual horizontal line at 4,000. And again, Ethereum has this head and shoulders pattern over here at this 290 level. And it looks like it's about to break through uh, potentially this longer term trend line since we, that we've been in since the top. So does that mean uh, this downtrend is over if that happens? Not necessarily. Like I said, we still have resistance at the neckline and resistance up here at the 340-ish level to get through as well. So there you go, guys. Happy Sunday. We will see you tomorrow. And again, noon noon tomorrow on the live stream. I apologize. I didn't do it today. I uh, just really wasn't feeling that good at that time and took a nap. So there you go, guys. Real Crypto is out, and I will see you tomorrow.